Hello, and welcome to a brand new day of free-to-play here on Magic the Gathering Arena. Get the dish on the latest with me, Lord Rumfish. Um, did okay in my last draft, went 6-3. and three. So, uh, not quite out of gold and gems yet here. So, I'm still collecting some of the rares and mythics uh, for Outlaws of Thunder Junction. In particular, this is one of the best ways to get big score cards. So, um... There are some big score cards that I want to build around for some of the decks I'd like to make. So for now, playing limited is still one of the best ways to uh, fill out the collection before I start all my standard deck videos. I did put out a standard deck just recently, though, on the channel. Give it a look. Anyway, for now, let's get into draft number 14. Ooh, speaking of um, big score cards, Bristlebud Farmer is uh, pretty well a bomb. I don't know that it's the best bomb of the format, but it's up there. Uh, yeah, this is a great card. And I, I love green anyway. I've been trying some different archetypes when I can, but uh, there's not even... Like, we're even sending a good signal with this pack about green, right? Reach for the Sky is not much of a green signal. So, yeah, taking the Bristlebud Farmer here just looks uh, fantastic. Alright, um, not much green in this pack either. Um, green could definitely dry up. I mean, Varmint is a playable card, but is there something better that we should be trying to take here? Um, the Baron's actually good in its own archetype. Um, the blue cards are playable. Prickly Pear is playable. This isn't that strong of a pack. Get right down to it. Um... I mean, I could take the Baron as a big speculation on two-color, but I think it's safer to take the Desert, frankly. And we could end up into a five-color deck again. It's something I like to do. And this pack doesn't tempt me with very much. Okay, um... Yeah, green could dry up here. Possum's actually a pretty good card. Um, another round would require a ton of synergy. It's good with the farmer, of course. Um, Riku can become playable in this format, but uh, you kind of want the synergies in place first. Um, other than that, let's see, there's some playable red cards. Red looks a little bit deep in this pack. We'll see if that continues to be the case, but we'll take the possum here. Okay, Mind Break Trap is uh, a playable but not exciting. It is a hard counter. There's not a lot of hard counters in this format. Um, two Lava Spur Boots. Gila Corsair is actually quite a good red card. Um, it's not surprising that red would be open. There's also the Creosote Heath down here. Um, yeah, I mean, I would really love to play with this Bristlebud Farmer, so... We can just uh, keep taking the deserts and see if we can force our way into uh, green, even if it's not open. I don't love forcing. Um, the last draft I did was about forcing. Conduit Pylons, you know, that, that's giving us an in on a five-color deck for sure. The Sentinel would be as well. Maybe the Sentinel would be a stronger take than the Pylons. It's a good blocker. Um, can definitely help you when you're flooding out, or if you got all the wrong color of lands. Uh, is there anything that looks better than that? Earth of Joe's pretty good. Um, Raven's pretty good. Uh, for me, it's between the Sentinel and the Pylons. I never take the Sentinel. Let's take the Sentinel this time. Okay. Um, out of these, what looks like the strongest card in the pack? Paladin. We're finally seeing some green here. Maybe this pack was just deep on green when it started. But we'll take the Paladin. Okay. Um, Festering Gulch is a pretty good pickup. Um, Plan the Heist is actually a good strong card too. Maybe Plan the Heist would be worth taking here. Don't get me wrong, Festering Gulch is a wonderful desert. 
Um, it might be hard to get a hold of the green fixing, but Plan the Heist is a, a really good card in the kind of deck we're trying to build. I'm going to take it. Okay. So out of these... Like, these are fine, but you can pick up cards like this all the way to, like, you know, 14th pick and stuff. Um, it's kind of between the Jagged Barons and the Gardener. And I think you take the Deserts before you take the Gardeners. Okay, there's Avarice. Um, I so rarely take Avarice. I think it's the best card in this pack here. Um, Vault Buster is actually somewhat playable if you run out of other things to do, but um, still Avarice is more exciting here. Okay, um, Seize the Secrets is probably what I should be taking here, but um, I never take Obeka just because, you know, she's not very exciting, you have nothing to do with your upkeeps, but I'm going to take her this time. I'm just doing some rares. Doing a little bit of rare drafting here towards the end of the pack. Sure, another round. Um, we will throw it in the sideboard right now, although Paladin and Farmer are not bad targets for this. But we'll put it in the sideboard for now. Hey, Mindbreak Trap came back. Alright, alright. Ankle Biter could be playable. Swamp. Okay, High Noon's not especially good. Bedevil is a fine card, right? Requires a lot of black, but then again, so does Avarice. So we could plan our mana base a little bit around having double or triple black. You know, kind of like if you're trying to build for um, Cruel Ultimatum. Just a little bit less intense than that. See, Requisition Raid's a great card, actually. Um, I don't mind taking removal here. What about the green cards? Oh, these are fine. They're, like, Giant Beaver's pretty good, but they're not, like, super high pickups. Uh, is there any removal in the pack that's better than the Bedevil? Like, Sharpshooter's pretty good, but I don't know that it's better than Bedevil. Um, yeah, we'll take the Bedevil here. You can actually kill a Planeswalker. It's kind of nice. Okay, Notion Thief. I don't see these uh, special guests very often. 3-1 Flash. Opponent would draw a card other than the first one. They skip it and you draw instead. Not bad. Not bad. Um, probably won't come back to us. Um, Cactus Folk Sure Shot's a good card. Uh, Boombox is actually better than it looks. Cactorantula. I think Actorantula is probably better than Notion Thief and the Sure Shot. I don't know for certain it's better than the Sure Shot. Ward is pretty good, but Ward, your opponent draws a card, is a pretty nice ability too. That's effectively what Cactorantula's got here. And it works on abilities, not just spells. Yeah, we'll take the Cactorantula. Oh, Primal Might. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um... So you're passing up, like, Felidar and Lawbringer, maybe take up the shield. So Gardener could come back to us. Primal Might's great, though. Okay. Um, Electro Dominance is fine, I think. Can't do any target, so it can burn the opponent's face. Double Red's a little bit iffy. Um, then you might get an extra spell off of it. I mean, it's not the worst, it's removal. And there's not really other removal in this pack unless you count like the Gigapete or the High Noon. Lush Oasis is maybe what we ought to be taking here, though. Uh, we don't have much fixing. Yeah, I think that's... I think Lush Oasis is correct. Cornucopia! People actually don't pass this card to me. They love passing the, um... The one that finds five lands, like the Omen Path Journey. And that card's amazing in the five color archetype. Um, pick it up if anyone ever passes it to you. Um, people don't like passing the Cornucopia, though. I don't know that Cornucopia is necessarily a better card than, like, Rutstein 
and maybe even the possum, but we need the mana fixing, and the life gain is a nice little bonus. Okay, so let's see, bovine intervention is fine. It's better than people say it is, but it's not great. You really want to hit like a bomb or a big like, you know, 5-4 trampler or something with this. And you want to do it on the opponent's turn so the 2-2 can't attack immediately. Uh, scorching shot's good, double red is tough. Um, and then there's the sentry or the gold pan. Um, I'm actually going to take the intervention here. People are probably going to yell at me in the comments, but uh, let's see. Summoner is pretty good. We do have a couple of big creatures up here, Farmer, Paladin, Cactarantula, and we're likely to get more. Do I want the Summoner more than the Dance of the Tumbleweeds? I don't think so. I, I'm actually very high on Dance of the Tumbleweeds. It's great in the five color deck. It just makes you giant critters late into the game. We'll take the uh, Tumbleweeds. All right. Uh, so out of these, I don't think these are amazing. Um, Slick Sequence is okay, but uh, it's probably a little tough in five color. I think maybe Stagecoach Security is a better pickup here, just for the sake of it being big. Okay, High Noon, Mine Raider, Holy Cow. I really don't love High Noon. Um, can be removal, but if I was between Commando and Holy Cow, I think I'd take the Holy Cow. Okay, uh, Plan the Heist or Boombox. We've already got one Plan the Heist. I like Boombox. Um, you know, it's expensive, but man, does it <laughs> settle the board when it comes down. The land destruction can be nasty against uh, another multicolor splash deck. Um, out of these, the Vault Buster. I'll just put it in the sideboard. Uh, Rope Master could make the main deck. It's not great, though. I really don't love Tumbleweed Rising. Take the Charger. And Fling can go on the sideboard. Okay, Assimilation Aegis. That's actually a great piece of removal. Um, just exiles something, and then uh, whatever you equip up can turn into a copy of that thing. So, I mean, this is stronger removal than murder. Um, it exiles, and you might get added upside. So, I'll take it. Uh, they might be able to get rid of the Aegis, but with murder, they might be able to get it back from the graveyard. <laughs> There's other great removal in this pack, actually, but I'm going to take the Aegis here. Uh, one last job. This pulls stuff back from the graveyard. Um, we do have one or two mounts. Is it just the Quilled Charger so far? No, we've got the Possum. So uh, there's a chance this could bring back multiple things from the graveyard. Um... We'll think about it. What else is in here? Haunting. And gardener. I haven't really had a chance to try one last job. Let's take it. Okay. Prairie Dog's good. Uh, Wrangler's very good. Can win the game by itself. Uh, and the lands down here are very good. We don't have much fixing. People have been taking the green fixing. So I probably ought to take uh, one of these things. Let's see. Should it be the Mesa or the Backwoods? I mean, I guess I need both of them. So we'll go ahead and take the Backwoods here. Yeah, we, we need to make sure we can actually cast the spells in our deck. Um, Cactarantula is good. Uh, do I take it over Consuming Ashes here? I've probably got enough interaction. Consuming Ashes is a pretty great one. I 
I am a big fan of Cactarantula, though. Okay, Snakeskin Veil, Barons, um... I feel like we take the Barons. We've, uh, we've got a Cedar fixing at this point. We're into pack three. There's not much time left. Okay, there's no fixing in this pack. Double Holy Cow. Holy Cow might be the take here. Um... Yeah, I mean, I've got a little bit of uh, plotting, but maybe not enough to run a Doc Orlock. We'll take a Holy Cow. Oh, Requisition Raid. Would the Baron be good in here? Um, I don't think so. There's like a couple of things it synergizes with, but uh, Requisition Raid... It was a pretty amazing card I've uh, come to discover. Okay, um, Terminal Agony is not amazing if you don't discard it. It's still usable, though. Um, and the other cards in this pack are not that exciting. Outlaw Medic is just kind of a so-so two-drop. I do need two drops, though, don't I? Uh, I guess I better take it. Okay, um, is it time to take a Gardener, or do I want the Soured Springs? Um, I guess I take the Desert? Okay, out of these, maybe I would prefer a Doc Orlock to a Sentry. Um, I don't know, Sentry's pretty solid. No, I'll take I'll take the dock. I'll take the dock. It has some upside. Um let's see Sterling Hound could let us get to where we're going. Uh do I want it more than the Lone Shark? No, I'll take the Lone Shark. Uh Mortar Surprise is a bit of value. Trained Arynx shouldn't go this late. And an island. I'm not going to lie, this one's a mess. Um, green wasn't open. It was not. Um, we uh, we absolutely forced here. So, I guess you get two force in draft videos. Um, this is going to be iffy. <laughs> let's, let's build it and see what happens. Alright, this deck is a freaking mess. I packed it with some extra lands. Um... I have no expectations. Let's play some games. We're up against Mediocrite. Or Mediocrity? Like Socrates? Um, I mean, the mana looks kind of decent. We'll keep it. Guess we'll get down the Jagged Barons to start getting the mana towards the Bedevil. We're also going to need the green source, so we'll play out the Lush Oasis. And get a prairie dog. Um, let's see, none of that needs double white. That's nice. We'll get down this red. It gets us closer to the Bedevil. Uh, we can plot a Paladin or a Lone Shark. You, pa you plot the Paladin and then play the Lone Shark, right? That's what you do. Yeah, so... Plot this. They do nothing with their three mana? Yep, nothing. They got a counter on their Prairie Dog. It looked like they were holding up removal there, maybe. Ah, uh, Obscura Colors. From the streets of New Capeno. Okay. So yeah. Um, Paladin. Lone Shark to draw a card. Let's 
And now we can do the Dance of the Tumbleweeds next turn. Okay, they murder the Paladin, so that's something we can pull back with one last job. The only reason we might wait is we can get out Dance of the Tumbleweeds at a mana efficient rate. Um, maybe we could pull back a uh, mount later in the game. Uh, Dance of the Tumbleweeds can get us our black mana for the Bedevil, too. Okay, Sentinel and Bronco, sure. Oh, we actually have the black mana for the Bedevil. In that case, do we want to cast it? Maybe? Um, actually, I think we still do the Dance of the Tumbleweeds here. And I think we still get a black source. Um... So yeah, maybe the Soured Springs. They'd probably have another removal spell, but they might not have two. Which means the Caustic Bronco is going to die if it comes in. Okay, they sacrificed an island to draw a card, so blue is just a splash in their deck. They want the triple black. Maybe they've got avarice like I do. Well, they're looking at the 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay, they lose a life. We're taking our blocks. Whatever they're up to, we're taking our blocks. Okay, double strike. Sure. That's fine. You got a way to save the Bronco? Okay, that saves it, but that doesn't kill the shit. Oh, and the Prairie Dog did die because it took the damage on the second uh, wave of combat there. Okay. I guess I could have countered uh, the Link Breaker, or maybe I could have countered something after it. The Mind Break Trap lit up. But this is fine. Um, so I think, is this 8 mana? Yeah, so I can Boombox kill the Bronco in the Plains? I think I go ahead and do that. Oh, and an artifact. Sentinel, Bronco, Plains. Let's go. Yeah, I'll come. 36, let's go. I'll bring you down from 36. We'll damage race from this position. Ah, uh, Conviction. That's the right kind of creature to use with Conviction. And a crab. Okay. Uh, the crab could give them a lot of value, um, and it stops me from attacking, so I think I actually bedevil that crab. I don't want them drawing out of this. And I still have the mana to mind break trap. Would I rather do that than the one last job? For now. Too bad this can't just get an artifact back from the graveyard. Oh yeah, we're going to chop you down from 36. Yep, come in. Alright, come in. Let's go ahead and return a creature. I don't think there's a mount or a vehicle down here. No, it's pretty much just the Paladin. But we'll do it.
And we still have the Mind Break Trap open. Yep, you come on in. Buzzard, huh? Nah. Got no time for your buzzard. Oh, holy cow. I don't remember if I have a way to draw and discard in this deck. I don't think I do. Actually, maybe I should get this out of my hand, because I have a draw three that gets a surveil three if you're empty-handed. Oh, that's good. They're coming in. Make your own death on a token. That doesn't trade with the loan shark. That's... That's impressive. Alright, I'm gonna play the planes. Holy cow. Alright. Gain a little life, get a scry. Looking like they got removal. Okay, ashes. Can't quite kill him then in that case. Um, could take the holy cow, but I don't know that I need to. I think I actually save this and let the trade happen. Definitely get down to Cacarantula. I think I save this for uh, if they drop a bomb or something bigger. Well, we're up against Kazuo 316. Go first. I guess the scries from the Holy Cows will help us hit land. Find our colors? So, sure. So far we just found uh, green and white. Roadrunner! Hey. Oh, there's a blue. That's good. Not a forest. We'll take our block. Oh, a buzzard. Oh, bristlebud farmer? I guess the question is, do I plot the loan shark to have the big turn with the farmer next turn? Um... Yeah? Sure. We'll do that. I guess I could even go like... Mourner's Surprise, Lone Shark, Holy Cow as a surprise blocker, and leave the farmer for later? Is that... is that crazy? It's more mana efficient. Will Charger. Um, oh, I don't have the black for the Mourner Surprise. Right, right, right. Um, well, in that case, let's get out the tap lands, play the Bristlebud Farmer, 
and draw a card. And get a 3-4. Ooh, Cactarantula. If they don't kill the farmer, we start drawing cards. And putting stuff in the graveyard. For the mourner's surprise. Cunning Coyote. Discerning Peddler. Okay. Um... Yeah, no blocks. Okay. So let's see, if I do the Cactarantula, I can't do much else. Let's see what we draw with the farmer here. I can get the Assimilation Aegis. That's pretty cool. We can get the Charger or the Buzzard. I guess we get the Charger. Because the Buzzard we can block with a Holy Cow. They could have removal at instant speed, but it's definitely annoying to use it in the middle of combat on their own turn. Oh, they've already made their decision here. Oh, requisition raid. Um, nothing to blow up over there right now. Still a pretty good card, though. Don't think I'm going to snub a plus one counter on all my creatures. That's fine. I'll kill the buzzard. Okay. Um. So, yeah. Get the Cactarantula. Maybe, let's see, do we attack with the farmer here or do we defend a bit? I guess we could defend a bit. We could pull back the Holy Cow again, and the Doc Orlock, and yeah, I guess that's r pretty mana efficient. Well, only if I'm using the Requisition Raid, or equipping this. Yeah. So we get a 1-1, one, one. we get the Doc. And then we can equip this up to the 1-1. One, one. That's actually not a bad position. I feel pretty comfortable about doing this attack now. Okay. Um, I guess we haven't used the, um, the white spell yet this game. So maybe I get another black source. Yeah. Because we can return the Quilled Charger from our graveyard at some point in the future. Rattleback Apothecary. Roadrunner. And nothing. There's that card. One last job. Do we have another creature down there yet? We've got the Holy Cow. So yeah, that is uh, two things we could pull back and they go straight to the battlefield. It's pretty good. Um, let's see, they've got a Death Toucher, but actually we do want them to block with that thing and trade it away. So let's see. Uh, we need our options here. So let's do this. Paladin's good. We'll take that. And let's take Saddle 2. Sure. Come here, Holy Cow. So we're going to present Lethal. They have to block. 
going to take some stuff off the field. That's going to trample three over, and they're dead. We are up against BCP Max. Okay. Um, well, we've got Doc Orlock into Paladin. I guess that's a pretty good line. So, Blush Oasis. Warlock on two, plot on three. Armor on four. It's starting to look pretty good. Grabby Patty. Okay. I don't even. <laughs> I don't know why I made that reference. I don't even watch SpongeBob SquarePants. But. I guess it's just seeped into me from uh, the internet. Alright, they're doing the draw discard. So they're... I guess they're like the... doing the traditional white-blue deck thing, but they've clearly got green in there as well. Alright. So they've got an option for a counter spell here. Um... I guess we lead on a paladin? Do they have a hard counter? Can they, can they actually counter this? Yeah, okay. Glad we did it that way. Personal Bud Farmer. Now they're sad they countered. They could have removal. Oh no. Um, can this take, uh... No, we got a requisition raid. Yeah. We got a requisition raid here. And I guess we do it now while they're tapped out. Yeah. Destroy an artifact and put a counter on our critters. So, like this. It does get a counter on the Bristle Blood Farmer, that's cool. We got a bunch of extra uh, food here. Okay, Wrangler. It'd be pretty cool to get my own Wrangler. Um, let's do that. It would be nice to know what the farmer's gonna draw first, though. Okay. Alright. We'll do this. Uh, I guess we don't really need another white mana, especially. We'll take the trained Arnx. Um, but yeah, we'll do the Assimilation Aegis, we'll take the Wrangler, and we'll go ahead and equip Dog. Now we've got our own 2 5 Wrangler of the Damned. Someone's got to be feeling like they just got robbed. Because I just blew up their uh, Aegis and had my own Aegis. I'm surprised they tossed away that forest when it was maybe their only green source. Seems unusual. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to attack with the farmer. I don't know what they might have. But we're doing the thing. Okay. I guess I do want the black. What you got? Okay. What you got? Saved one damage, drew a card. Very well. Um... I could Avarice to search for something. What that would be, um, like, I don't know, I've one last job's already in the graveyard at this point, I guess I could get a Cactorantula or something. I think it's better to just probably get down the Possum and the Holy Cow. Oh, I've got Wrangler. 
maybe it was better to not cast anything. I wasn't thinking like the white blue archetype. Uh huh. Holy cow. Ooh, Primal Might. Yeah, that's good. Uh, what do I want to use the Primal Might on? Let's see, I don't really want to bounce the Bristlebud Farmer. I don't need the f extra food at this point. I could bounce the Holy Cow, and that wouldn't be too terrible. I could also just leave it on the field. Um, in which case, I guess I could just use the Arynx. Um, let's see, Primal Might. I guess I could pump up the Possum? Sure. Target the possum, blow up, oh, the wrangler, use your counter spell, they ain't got it. We're coming in. Okay, they've had enough. Ooh! They moved into Platinum. Alright, we are up against an opponent whose name I currently lack the comprehension to pronounce. Oh, we got red, green, and white. We got Holy Cow. Uh, we potentially have an early Cactarantula. We've got Holy Cow to scry us. We're keeping it. There's a black. We'll need that someday. <laughs> okay, Hard Bristle Bandit. Um, get down the plains and start doing Holy Cows here. Hopefully that'll find another green source, or a blue source. Oh, they're doing the green deck thing. Looks like they're a soul tide pile. This is going to be a hard game. This will be a hard game. Um, maybe we could catch them attacking with the bandit. That'd be funny. Would I block an ankle biter? I might. I might. We're ahead on cards. We just need the game to stall. I don't know if that's a great plan against green, blue, black. They could have a better long game than I do. But based on this hand, I want the game to go longer. They're attacking. Okay. They could have tricks. They could have removal. Yeah, we'll keep a paladin. But if they ain't got anything. Okay, trash the town. Well, I mean, that's not great. Um, we'll go ahead and plot the Paladin here. Having a 3-3 Bandit's kind of awkward. You want to use it for mana. Okay. Sentry, sure. Sentinel, sure. Those... Can't attack. Yeah, 
And I guess I could double spell, why not? Now, if I don't get the blue mana soon, or the second green, uh, they're probably just going to win. They might win anyway. It seems like they've got a more cohesive deck than I do. Okay, Dance of the Tumbleweeds. Sure. That could let the sentry attack, but it doesn't actually have good attacks. Well, there's one last job. Um, that could be helpful in rebuilding. Right, one more mana and we could pull back a, uh, a creature to the battlefield. Two more mana and we could also pull back a mount. We've got the Arnix. Um, so this would be far, far better if we get to six mana and rebuilding the board from here. Anyway, Medic is a pretty good uh, chump block on the 6-6. Six, six. Ah, they're already to the point of flooding out and using the Sentinel. There is a bunch of extra mana in this deck. Um, it's actually really unusual to stop at 4 mana here, I think. Are they representing, like, another Trash the Town? Anyway. Do whatever you're gonna. Skullduggery. Well, that's bad. Still not a land. On tractor, we're gonna sacrifice something. Okay. Well, at least that's shrinking their board. But they have mana still. So maybe it's not shrinking the board. Alright. Free Strider Lookout. Unfortunately, I need that. I need those colors. Uh, I need a land. I can't throw it away. Um, but I guess I'm just dead here. So, yeah. We're up against Franken... Frankenberry? Frankenstein? We go first. Um, got the Sentinel. Yeah, we'll keep it. Play out a boombox. Why not? Or we could get down this backwoods. I guess that makes sense access to red mana. Raucous Entertainer. Alright. Here's a black mana. Yeah, we'll play a Sentinel. Voracious Varmint. They're gonna make it a 3-3. Seems a little odd. Seems to me like they're just gonna blow up the Sentinel. But, we'll see. Because I can't attack past it. Huh, Deep Muck Desperado. Don't like that. Alright. I guess I draw the cards first. See if there's something better. 
And no, I still think Cactarantula is the play. And get down the Soured Springs to start working on uh, Double Blue. Two Deep Muck Desperados? Okay. That is too much. That's absurd. Um, oh, but we gotta get rid of the stupid varmint. Um, okay, I guess we have to Aegis the varmint right now. Then we can play the boombox. And, uh, let's see, they could block with everything. Can I end up taking out the Entertainer and a Desperado? Yes. Okay, they take six. Okay, they're doing the Desperado thing. We do have more than 40 cards. But we have got to get those off the field. Um, sure. Block. Okay. We have our double blue. Um, I guess we need to keep getting black mana down. We just got a straight up six mana right here. I guess this is a good spot to get a tap land down. Go ahead and attack. Okay, so they had something. So let's go ahead. Zero on artifacts. A desperado. And a forest. Let's do this. Um, yeah, take action. Okay, they give it up. We are up against R, V, L, D, M. Is that Roman numerals? Hmm. Go first. Looks... Actually, it looks like we don't have creatures. I'm gonna keep it anyway. The mana's not bad. Um... This is like a no creature hand. So this hand kind of doesn't do anything. But uh, when you have a multicolor deck like this, you can't just turn away the hand that's got your colors of mana. Raven. Black green. Naturalist. Okay, they got an armadillo in the graveyard. Probably pull back the oasis. They took the swamp. That oasis would have given them blue mana, and it would have given them a free ping off of the raven. It's a little scary. Uh, anyway, in the turn. So we've definitely got our colors. There is a, uh, a risk. We put in extra mana in this deck. And we could just flood out, and we're more likely to flood out. If we flood out, we can't really complain. Because uh, we packed extra lands into the deck. So, you know, if we flood out here, that's uh, name of the game. Armadillo. They could get that armadillo down on their next turn, and I would have the mana to bovine intervention it. It's not bad. Get the black mana. Um, because we got the avarice in the deck. That costs, um, three black. Keep working our way up to it. Okay, yeah. I mean, I could kill their Rutstein to keep them off of the Armadillo, but I think it's better to just get the Armadillo dead.
You're not going to do it. Huh. Strange. Well, I guess we'll just get down this lonely arroyo that gets us the blue for the mind break trap. And uh, we'll pass it back. Oh, Gigapede. That we have to kill. Fortunately, they don't have uh, plus one counter and hexproof. Is there any reason not to play the armadillo now? Do you have another gigapede you'd rather play instead? Okay, Armadillo. And, um... Yeah, we just didn't draw any creatures this game. So... Making a 1-1 to chump block doesn't really matter here. Now, if they want some bad manners, we'll counter them. <laughs> they should just attack. We should just attack and end the game. But they're gonna do some bad manners, aren't they? Are they thinking about if I have... Oh, Rush of Dread. Alright. Counter you. Wasn't that fun. We are up against Latuna. Latuna coil? Alright. Um, let's see, we don't have black mana, but we do have a holy cow and a sentinel. And those are pretty good and we can cast them. Well, I'm gonna keep it. Alright. Get down the oasis. Doubt there's anything they play on two that I want a bovine intervention. There are actually some things I could play on three I might want a bovine intervention. There's a couple of absurd bombs that can exist in this format, but they did not. Let's see. Um, I guess Sentinel theoretically blocks their townsfolk. There aren't a lot of combat tricks in this format. There's Heroic Intervention. There is the red one that gives like plus one and first strike. But no one runs that. Block. Yep, nothing happened. They thought I wouldn't block. I do have access to Mind Break Trap here, and if they don't cast anything I can Holy Cow, that seems fine. And then we get a Scry. Keep trying to find uh, black mana. We got white, blue, and green. We don't have red, and we don't have black. Sterling Supplier. I do believe I will counter that. Oh, well, we got another mana, um, and we can medic here and holy cow on their turn. Seems fine. Slick shot, show off. Holy cow. Of 
Cornucopia. Um, yeah, we'll take it. And we're also going to take our blocks. Okay, they've got right down. Sure. Not too bad. Ooh, Bristlebud Farmer. We can play that too. Um, yeah. Next turn we can do like Cornucopia and Mourner's Surprise if they kill it. So we'll take the block. Oh, calamity. Uh, blocking calamity is still blocking the most damage here. Okay, so unfortunately, um, we need to, uh kill this Calamity, and I think we might need to do it before their turn, because they could have Heroic Intervention, and we can't risk that. Um, so... Are we going to attack with the Farmer? Actually, I guess we could block the Townsfolk with the Farmer and then just pull it back with the Mourner's Surprise. Save some damage. Because it's going to be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Um, yeah, I guess I guess we'll block with the Farmer, so we'll go ahead and just cast this now. Kill that Calamity. I will gain the life. I know that makes your town scroll to 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, no attacks. Okay, we'll definitely block the 2-2. Two -two. What do you got? Derailment, of course. Oh, that's good. There, there, there. That's better. They got rid of our source of red mana. And black mana. Not nice at all. Should I just eat one of these foods? I think I will. Do I even want another white mana? Uh, I guess if I got the Sentinel back, but that doesn't seem likely. Hmm, is there a reason to hold it in my hand, though? Probably not. Eh, holy cow. Uh-huh. Okay, there's a red source. That gets us to the charger. Alright, now we're cooking. Could have been sitting on removal, since I haven't been playing creatures. Okay, I gotta gain some life and kill the Quilled Charger. Have I milled over the um, thing that pulls back stuff? No, I haven't. That card is still in the deck. So we've got some major value still cooking in this deck. Alright, let's do the Mourner's Surprise here so we can get in with the Arynx. 
and find whatever our best stuff is in the graveyard. It's got to be the farmer, right? Saddles for two. Um, so yeah, we'll play the farmer. We will equip this little mercenary to turn him into a Vengeful Townsfolk. We will use the Vengeful Townsfolk to saddle the Aryx, and we will come in with the Aryx and Scry. We will keep a boombox. Alright. Uh, this looks pretty good. Let's just come in. Okay. Uh, do we need green or blue? No, we do not. We'll take the dock. So I think we're actually going to hold on to the boom box. Um, just keep it as like a surprise. Should I cast Avarice to set the top of my deck? Maybe. What would I set it with? Oh, the thing that can pull back uh, two things from the graveyard. That's what I would go fetch. Yes. That's worth it. That is worth doing. One last job. That's the name of it. They're coming in. I don't know if that's uh, giving up or if they have a board sweeper or what. Skewer the critics. Sure. Get a counter on Pan's folk. Okay, they're just dead. It is the magical, mystical five wins. We have more than paid for the draft. We have gotten back more gems than we spent. Um, I don't know how we got here. This deck has powerful cards in it, but this deck's also kind of garbage. <laughs> it doesn't have some of the key green fixing that you would normally expect in a deck like this. We just have like a, a bunch of weird stuff and too many lands. And maybe too many lands is working out for us. Is it luck of the draw? Anyway, we've got two losses here, so we could just lose immediately at this point. But uh, we made it. We are up against Strelzik. Hmm, go first. We got Arynx on two. Actually, we're going to have Doc on two. Yeah, we'll keep it. I suppose you lead on the Arynx and crew with the Doc. Saddle with the Doc, rather. Oh, hey, dueling lonely Arroyos. Okay, Arynx. Here we go. Yeah, we've got green blue, so we can just get down the tap land and. Aww. Deserts do. Anyway, here's Doc Horlock. He's not especially great in this deck. There's a couple of things that bought, though. Sentinel. Well, we actually uh, can get down the Quilt Charger. No attacks. Yeah, saddles for two. We If they don't remove it, we've got uh, the attack. But they've got five power on blocks. Okay, we could mind break trap, we could assimilation Aegis. I think we just wait for a minute. That can be a hard thing to do in magic sometimes. You know, because we could Aegis, um, crew up the charger, get in for five. But then you don't get this play. Where you just freaking exile that stupid Sphinx. And now we get to wait for uh, a good target for the Aegis. Not that Sphinx is a bad target. But they could have something bigger and nastier. They could have Bonnie Paul coming. They're Servant of the Stinger. 
Mourner surprise. Um, I mean, sure. It's something to do. No attacks. Uh, I'm going to start sacking islands. Yep. Sentinel's actually a pretty good card, especially if you are extra on your uh, mana. Well, I don't know if we can wait for Bonnie Paul as a target. Uh, that Sphinx is pretty doggone good to get rid of. You. Yes. I'm sure. Oh no, do they... Oh, they have a bounce spell. Well, we're not paying the ward in that case. Um, let's see, we still don't have amazing attacks. Actually, yes we do. Yes, yes we do. Do I want to do it with First Strike or Menace? I guess we go big on the Quilled Charger first. It doesn't get us a scry, but yeah, let's do it this way. Pump the power. Come in. Now it's a 6-5 with Menace. Now their double block is not so great. Oh, I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, I'm still killing the Sentinel. And this really doesn't do anything if it uh, doesn't have the creature under it. Oh, Hollow Marauder. Well, I couldn't cast it anyway. But still, it's very annoying. Well, it looks like we're going to lose this one. I'll trade. Ooh, Cactorantula. That's cool. It's big enough to stop the Hollow Marauder. Uh, let's see. Do I care about saddling the Arynx? I think I'm just going to let it trade here. Or they can take four. Alright, take your trade. Take it. Take something. Okay, take four. And draw me a card if you want to get past my Cactorantula. Your big flyers do not matter to me. I don't know they mill themselves. What? Oh no, they milled me and they surveilled two of the Sphinx. They had two lands. Alright, and I had a Paladin, which we can pull back later from the graveyard. Um, anyway, I can get the Arynx up to a four power first striker, but that's not big enough. Anyway, let's play the Bristlebud Farmer. And we'll say go. It's still on them to uh, find a way through. You're going to bounce the farmer. Okay. Okay, they mill over a rooftop assassin. You wanna get in with that stinger? I will block it. Okay. Here's a plains. Here's Bristlebud Farmer. He gave me more food. I'm still not coming in. It's your turn. I will come in with the farmer though. I don't care about your death doctor. I will come in with the farmer. I guess I should just eat some food here, huh? This farmer's gonna die when I attack. 
So let's just do it. Ooh, dance of the tumbleweeds. That's cool. Farmer. Sack. Uh, yeah, we'll take the shark. Yeah, we'll take the shark. I think it's worth waiting a turn on the Dance of the Tumbleweeds. They don't take the Death Touch block? That's crazy! We'll plot the shark. And we'll end the turn. We're gonna do a big turn next turn to draw a card. Terminal Agony. Sure, you got it. That still doesn't get you past the Cactorantula. Visage Bandit. Oh man. Follow Marauder. You're no fun opponent. You're super boring. So, so boring. Block. Alright. Oh, uh, we'll keep getting out mana. And we'll keep waiting on the loan shark. If they get rid of the Cactarantula, that'll let us probably hit the double spell for the shark. Archive trap! Alright, how many cards do I have left? 24. Are they getting rid of 13? Okay. They just build themselves for two. They have less cards left than I do. Alright. Uh, requisition raid. Holy cow. They still didn't mill over my card that can pull things back from the graveyard. It's still in the deck. That's interesting. And they are going to mill out before I do. Let's see. Yeah, they've got Deep Muck Desperado, but if they if they pull it back from the graveyard, that's a problem. And they probably do have ways to do that. Okay, holy cow. This can let us double spell. Let me get a scry. Plan the heist. I think not. I think I'd rather hit the card that pulls stuff back from the graveyard, rather than surveilling and drawing three. It's come down to milling. But I will draw the card off the shark. Oh, Medic. Medic's a little iffy here. Uh, so we're 9 and 9. I don't know if I play this Medic. I don't know if I do. So I think we just end the turn here. Okay, we can play the Sentinel and just not use it. Just use it as a ground blocker. That's fine. Uh, as far as I can tell, they're going to mill out. Let's see, have they gotten rid of anything that pulls stuff back from the graveyard yet? Um, there's Fake Your Own Death. I mean, they might not be running anything that does that. Alright, Blood Hustler is annoying. Um, so they just did a surveil and they kept him on top. That's dangerous. We've still got a food here. I think I go ahead and use it. Okay. Heath. Let's 
Yeah, they go to six cards before I go to six cards. Uh, I don't know if there's enough turns left in the game for them to uh, burn me out with Blood Hustler. I'm just worried about them getting back. Um, oh, this, this can get the Archive Trap. Okay. Well, that's the game. All right. Um, not my cleanest draft, but uh, we got to five wins. So there you go. <laughs> Four wins is kind of the goal, right? You, you uh, you've done more than a good break even on value with four wins. Five wins is the big goal where you have more than paid for the next draft. That's where you've overshot. Um, somehow we did that. <laughs> so, you know, there we go. I even picked up uh, some big score cards. I'm pretty pleased with this overall. So, uh, like and subscribe. Um, check out my other videos on the channel, including the standard video I put out just recently. And until next time, never stop honing your critical thinking and empathy.